Today we will discuss how to install an RTD, how connections are done, and how to check an RTD for temperature measurement. Let's start with RTD installation. RTD means resistance temperature detector, as it is clear from its name. By detecting temperature, that provides output in resistance. Such type of instrument is known as RTD. Before knowing how to install RTD, we will see where we install it. We we install RTD at a place where we need to measure temperature. Means on any tank in any process line. We install the RTD because RTD is measuring the temperature. So RTD is also known as temperature sensor. First, be confirm which RTD you are going to use: simplex RTD or duplex RTD. If you want to show the temperature only at one place. Then use simplex RTD, and if you want to show the temperature at two different locations, then use duplex RTD. The most commonly used RTD is three-wire RTD. Whether you are using simplex or duplex, simplex RTD has only one port for connections. Means it has three wires for connections, and duplex RTD has two ports for connections. Means you can see six wires for connections. So, if you are using simplex RTD, then you will require a three-wire cable, and for duplex RTD, you will require a six-wire cable. Now let's see what are the tools required for RTD installation: slide wrench, nose plier or plier, wire stripper, a digital multimeter, screwdriver or line tester. Before installing RTD, a thermo well is also installed. Thermo well provides protection to RTD, and we can check it any time by easily removing it from thermo well. First, thermo well is installed. Then, by using slide wrench, RTD is tightened in thermo well. Let's discuss the connections of RTD for RTD connections. You need to insert the wire. For connections in RTD, you will see three terminals, and if you are using duplex RTD, then you will see six terminals. Suppose there is a three-wire simplex RTD. It will have one port and three terminals, and on these terminals, three wires will be connected from inside the RTD. In these wires, two wires will have same colors, and one wire will have different color. Same color wires are kept short circuit. You can check their continuity by using multimeter, and there will be a different color wire. It is also known as common wire or common terminal. Now connect the wires into RTD. Coming from control panel, with the help of screwdriver or line tester, after connecting three wires to RTD, these wires are connected to controller or indicator. On controller side or indicator side, you will see a symbol of RTD. The same color wires of RTD are connected to controller or indicator. Here and the remaining wire is connected at the remaining terminal of controller or indicator. Means 
short circuit wires are connected with short circuit terminals and common wire is connected at common terminal so rtd connections are very easy till now you have connected simplex rtd similarly you can connect the duplex rtd when the rtd is checked by using a multimeter resistance is measured when you open rtd you will see three wires two wires are of same colors and one wire is of different color suppose two white color wires and one black color wire is there one knob of multimeter is put at white color wire and another one is put at black color wire and we will check the resistance meaning rtd's output is resistance and from this resistance temperature is calculated today we will see that how is the temperature of rtd calculated from this resistance today i am going to tell such a trick by which you can take out the temperature of rtd in a pinch well friends the temperature calculation formula of rtd is rt equals r01 plus alpha t if t means temperature is calculated from here then it will become t equals rt minus r0 divided by r0 alpha here you will see three parameters rt r0 and alpha you need to calculate trt is the resistance at t degrees celsius or understand it in this way the resistance measured with a multimeter is rt r0 is the resistance at 0 degrees celsius for pt100 the value of r0 is 100 ohms pt100 means it's platinum rtd and it will show 100 ohms at 0 degrees celsius here alpha is the temperature coefficient whose value is 0 0.00385 for platinum here alpha is taken for platinum because we use mostly the platinum rtd the platinum rtd is used because the resistance of platinum varies most linearly with temperature as compared to other materials how does it vary linearly means as the temperature increases the resistance will also increase accordingly let us now understand the formula in easy language there is no need to memorize long and elaborate formulas as much resistance as being shown in the multimeter minus 100 has to be done and that has to be divided by 0 0.385 or multiply by 2.6 you will find the temperature let's understand this with an example for example if the resistance of 138.5 ohm rtd is showing then calculate the temperature subtract 100 from 138.5 it will be 38.5 when we divide it by 0.385 it will be 100 which means 100 degrees celsius temperature will be on that place if resistance is showing 138.5 ohms let's solve it with other method if you multiply 38.5 by 2.6 then it will also be approximately 100 degrees celsius so it's very easy to calculate rtd temperature 